Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace, a platform where you can design beautiful websites and host your online store. So I've been driving around Utah for nine nights now in this camper van. Only two of those nights have been clear skies. They were the first two nights of my trip in Zion National Park. But tonight is actually looking pretty promising. The 10th night of my trip, I've come to the Badlands in Utah and I've only got an hour of darkness until the moon rises. But I'm in the right place at the right time of year on the right day of the month to capture the astronomy photograph of the year. So stay tuned. So I was actually here a couple of nights ago, the night of the supermoon, and there were two German ladies here doing photography as well. And we had a lovely chat about Brexit and Boris Johnson. And I was telling them that I was in a camper van driving on Utah and they were leaving Utah and driving up towards Crater Lake. And I got back to the van to make some food to get ready for the evening. And I pulled out the deck chair and I thought to myself, ah, oh, I could really do with a beer right now just to enjoy this view and food and have a nice cold beer. But I didn't have any beer. And then I cooked my food, my food was ready. And the two German ladies were leaving to go back to the hotel. And she came over with a cold bottle of beer. And it was blue moon as well. So I had high hopes of seeing the moon that evening. I must be one of the luckiest guys on this planet, I swear. But I didn't get to see the moon that night. Zeus had other ideas. There was just lightning in the distance in so many different locations. And it was incredible to just sit there, have my food, enjoy a nice cold beer, give a toast to Zeus for the incredible display. And it was all incredible until the rain started and the storm started coming in my direction. So I had to get the hell out of here because the roads would get super muddy in the rain and I would not be able to get out of here in this van. And I might have been stuck here for a couple of days, maybe a few days, I don't know. And as I was driving out, two lightning bolts just shoom, shoom, one to the left of me and one right in front of the van. Like, it was so close. It was blinding. It was terrifying. But it was so exhilarating. And uh, thankfully, I got out of here in one piece and unscathed. But, yeah, it was absolutely amazing. But hopefully, no storms and no clouds tonight. All right, so I've set up a star trail here with my a7 IV and I'm hoping to get a nice big moon trail through the image as well. A little bit worried because this has been modified by Spencer's cameras in Utah and Astro modified cameras tend to have a red pink flare when the moon is in the frame. So I'm a little bit worried about that, but there's only one way to find out if it's going to work or not. It leaves me with a bit of a dilemma in that I only have one camera now, so I kind of have to take photos with that camera and vlog at the same time somehow. I've only got less than an hour with the Milky Way when it's dark and then the moon starts rising, so... God, I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but uh, I need to get finding my composition again because it's getting dark pretty quick. And like I said, I don't have too much time with the Milky Way. <laughs> Alright, so I've got a composition that I'm going to shoot the Milky Way core with and I scouted it earlier using the augmented reality mode in Sky Guide, which is an iOS only app and it looks like it's going to work pretty well. Astronomical Twilight is going to end in about 10-15 minutes and then I really need to start shooting because I've only got an hour until the moon starts rising in the east and that gives me an opportunity to capture what was the astronomy photograph of the year in the Royal Observatory of Greenwich's competition about two or three years ago. And I'm not sure if it was the exact same spot, but I'm pretty sure it was around here somewhere. And I didn't specifically come here to try and retake that photograph. It just so happens that I'm here on my little road trip around Utah. And um, 
I have clear skies tonight. And this photograph having the Milky Way in the south and the moon rising in the east, you can only get that during, I'd say June, July and August. And each month is only three, maybe four days for nights of the month where you can capture this photograph. So all in all, there's like 10, maybe 15 days of the entire year where this photograph is possible. So it's a huge coincidence. And I actually did a similar thing in Zion National Park on the other side of New Moon last week, just getting the Milky Way as the moon was setting and it turned out pretty nice. So I'm excited to do it again here today. I don't know how I'm going to vlog now because I need to use this camera to shoot. So um, yeah, I'm just going to get going because I want to get my foreground composition ready. And then I'll pull the Star Tracker out for the Milky Way. So this was the image of the Milky Way I took before the moon came up, or at least this is how far I got in the edit because I realized that I started capturing my foreground way too early. It was still twilight. And if you look at the mountains in the distance, you can still see that they're quite bright and blue because of that twilight light. And the two images just weren't blending very well together. And overall, I just didn't like the colors or the feel of the image. I'm having a lot of issues with the filters I've been using on my full spectrum modified camera. But I'll save that for another video soon. Guys, did I tell you my book, Photograph in the Night Sky, is available to pre-order now? And you can pre-order it from my website, alanwallacephotography.com, which is hosted by the sponsors of today's video, Squarespace. If it wasn't for my website, I definitely would not be able to be a full-time photographer. It's a way for companies and clients to find my work and sign up to my workshops. And it's a place where you can purchase my book or my Astro Workflow Lightroom presets. And that way I can make money from products that I have created. And that's what funds my life as a full-time photographer. Squarespace is amazing, it's super easy to use. You can start with one of their award-winning templates. You can drag and drop things to your heart's content. It's super easy, you don't need to know any code. The websites look really, really professional. And you can have a blog, galleries, an online store. You can have member-only areas as well, a new feature, which is pretty awesome. But if you'd like to give Squarespace a go, head on over to squarespace.com forward slash Allen. Start a free trial. If you're happy with the website and you want it to go live, use the code ALLEN for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain name with Squarespace. So I just saw a bit of lightning in the distance there. Um, obviously, I'm a little bit worried if it comes over here again, but imagine if I can get the moon, Milky Way, and some lightning over this landscape. <laughs> Maybe that would be the next astronomy photograph of the year. <laughs> Alright, so the moon's starting to rise now. Nice flare on my full spectrum camera. And it's got a bit of cloud to clear. There's been a big strip of black cloud here, so I think my star trails are probably a bit messy. Um, but even if it fails, we'll learn something from it about the settings and how the moon looks in those particular settings and be better prepared for next time. So even if it goes wrong, you always learn something, but I've just been having the time of my life. I pulled up the deck chair, sitting next to the van with a bit of music on, watching the lightning in the distance, the Milky Way is there, the moon's starting to rise, a couple of meteors, and uh, yeah, it's just pretty damn blissful. Anyway, that moon has got a little bit of time to clear those clouds there, so I'm going to go set up my panorama. And this time, I'm not going to use the H-alpha and visible filter. I'm just gonna use a visible light filter. So it basically turns my camera back into a stock camera. It only collects visible light. So as the moon was rising, I captured this image of the Milky Way fading away. And I just love how the moonlight, that side angle moonlight, just makes the landscape look so much more three-dimensional, especially in this landscape, which has got so many nooks and crannies and cracks and details. It just looks incredible. Needless to say, I was pretty happy with how this image came out. I then jumped into the scene myself for this huge panorama and got the moon in the center, the Milky Way arching over the moon, 
I know I haven't got the complete arch of the Milky Way, but the Milky Way was passing overhead to the zenith. So if I did try to do that, there would have been a lot of distortion. But I'm super happy with how this one came out. The moonlight on the foreground and those sort of vein like structures in the distance just looks absolutely amazing. All right, so I did a nice big panorama with the Milky Way on the right, the moon in the middle, and then me standing on the left. And after that, I just grabbed some improvised shots of the moonlit landscape and the Milky Way in the sky. Obviously, the Milky Way is fading quite significantly, but I still think it could look quite nice. And then just some simple single exposures of this amazing landscape with the moon. And just the way the moon is making the landscape look so 3D is incredible. And um, yeah, so the Star Trail is still going. The skies have definitely cleared up over there, which is good. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go chill out, enjoy the view, put some music on. I might even jump in the van and start editing some of these images. And then uh, I'm gonna get some sleep and wake up to see how that Star Trail turned out. Ah. Oh. Absolutely incredible. Oh, there's Mars just rising over there. So we've got Mars, the Moon, Saturn. Ah, absolutely beautiful night. And this was the Moon and Star Trail, and I was pretty pleased with how it came out, especially given the amount of cloud that was there in that patch of sky. But I think next time I'll use maybe a lower ISO or stop the aperture down just to stop the Moon blowing out so much but i was pleasantly surprised with how it turned out but what about you which was your favorite image of this vlog let me know in the comments down below hit subscribe if you haven't already and if you're going out to enjoy the night sky anytime soon i wish you good luck in clear skies